Hi, this is Yushan. Welcome back to Learn Chinese with Yushan. Today, I've got you a vocabulary lesson. I am bringing you 80 verb phrases that is going to be very useful for your daily life and that comes from only 7 basic characters. So, 组词, it's a very important skills, so a very important exercise for us Chinese when we were having our Chinese lesson in our primary school. And I guess we can just reflect on this when you are learning Chinese, this language. You have to understand that the building blocks is the character. So I'm going to talk about the characters today. These characters, they are verbs. They are already a verbs by themselves. But we are going to see how they are going to combine with another character to make a verb phrase. These particular characters, you know them all, they are very basic, but they are also very, very productive in making words. So that is the thing, I guess, for other languages also. The more basic the word is, the more usages it has. And for Chinese language, it is the character. So the more basic the character is, the more profound and the more diversified it is being used. Today, I'm going to cover only 7 characters, but we are going to see 80 words and vocabularies that coming from these 7 characters. Most of these words, they are not from the textbook, for they are more like a daily life usages and also they are more like a verb phrases. So let's get started. Our first character of the day is chu. As you may all know, chu. The basic meaning is to go out, to exit. But let's see what are the common words and vocabularies that we can use in daily life with 出. Number one is 出国. 出国, literally, it means to go out of the country, but it just means to go abroad. 你出过国吗? Now I'm asking you, have you ever been abroad? Now, actually, this is a very good topic starter if you're chatting with a Chinese because 出国 is getting very popular these days. 我们出国留学, we go abroad for study. 我们出国旅游, we go abroad for traveling. But 10 years ago, this is not really a thing in China. That's why I say asking a Chinese, 你出国国吗? It's a very good question to start the conversation. Number two is 出门, 出门, to exit the door, to go out of the door. Basically, it means just to go outside as the opposite of staying at home. For example, 我今天一整天都没出门. I didn't go outside for a whole day today. Another example, 我等一下要出门, 你有什么需要我带的吗? I'm going out in a while. Do you want me to bring anything? This is my roommate in university always ask me. And we also can say 出远门. 远 means far. So 出远门 means you're going away for a few days maybe. Maybe you're going to a city that's quite far. So 出远门. For example, 我出远门的时候都会把我的猫给我的姐姐 Every time when I'm going away for a few days, I will let my cat to my sister. Number three is 出差, 出差 to go for a business trip. For example, 我过几天要去北京出差, 我有很多东西要收拾. I'm going to Beijing for a business trip in a few days. I have a lot of things to pack. Now, 过几天 means in a few days. And if you haven't checked my other videos about 50 time expressions, check it out. It's going to be very useful for your speaking also. Links below. Number four is 出院. 出院. 院 is from 医院, the hospital. So going out of the hospital, meaning that you are being discharged from the hospital. So firstly, we being hospitalized, 住院. Then we go out of the hospital, then we discharge by the hospital. 出院. 我们住院, 然后出院. For example, 我听说你, 
住院了。I heard that you are being hospitalized. 对，我已经出院了。Yes, I have already been discharged. 我已经上班好几天了。I have already go to work for a few days now. Number five is 出血，出血，血 is the noun for blood in Chinese. So 出血 is the verb to bleed. For example, 你的鼻子在出血 Your nose is bleeding. Are you right? 你还好吗 Another example, 这几天天气太干了，我的嘴唇都在出血 These days the weather is too dry. My lips are bleeding. Number six is 出汗，出汗。Now similarly, 汗 is the noun for sweat in Chinese. So 出汗 is the verb to sweat. For example, 我刚跑完步，所以出了很多汗。I just finished running, so I have a lot of sweat. 我现在很紧张，我的手都在出汗。I'm very nervous now. Even my hands are sweating. Number six is 出轨出轨 Now this is a very figurative word. 轨 means the railroad track, like a train track. So we can use 出轨 to describe a train was fall out of the track, was go off the track. But in real life, that kind of things doesn't happen every day. So in real life, we use 出轨 to mean somebody was overstep some boundaries. It means to cheat or to having affairs. For example, 你听说她丈夫出轨了吗 Have you heard that her husband was having affairs? 这篇文章讨论了人们出轨的主要原因。This article was discussed about the main reason that people cheat. Number A is 出主意出主意 Now this is a very useful word. It means to think of or offer an idea, but for another person, like this picture. For example, 你帮我出出主意吧。我真的不知道该怎么办了。Please help me with an idea. I really don't know what to do now. Another example. 这是谁给你出的主意 Who gave you this idea? Who came up this idea for you? Number nine is 出名出名 It just means to be famous. Well, we have another word that is more formal. That is 著名 But in daily life, we tend to use this 出名 To be famous, for example, 他在六十年代很出名的 He's very famous in sixties. 他前几年很出名的，现在没那么出名了 He's very famous in the few years back, but now he's not that famous. 他在嫁给他之前就已经很出名了 Before marrying him, she already been very famous. 在他们出名之前，我就已经是歌迷了。Before they are being very famous, I'm already a fan. Number ten, number eleven, number twelve, number thirteen—they are all under one umbrella. It's all about negative things. So we have number ten, 出错 ，to have a mistake, to make a mistake. Number eleven, 出问题 ，a problem to pair. Number twelve, 出车祸 to have a car accident. Number thirteen, 出事 in general, some bad things happen. So in all these cases, 出 they means some bad things happen or some bad things appear. For example, 我累了就容易出错 When I was tired, it's easy that I make a mistake. 他工作中从不出错 He never made mistakes in his work. Now, 出问题 For example, 我想不明白是哪里出了问题 I can't figure it out. Where is the problem appeared? 出问题时，我尽量不紧张 When the problem appeared, I try not to be nervous. 这样下去，迟早会出问题的。
If we let it this way, problems will appear sooner or later. 出车祸 to have a car accident. 我昨晚回家时出了车祸 Yesterday, when I returned home, I had a car accident. 我们差点出了车祸 We nearly got a car accident. 出事 bad things happened. 放心吧，不会出事的 Just relax. Don't worry. Nothing will go wrong. 她的眼神告诉我出事了 The expression from her eyes told me that there is something wrong. 不要出事，不要出事 Like I wish, I hope, I pray. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing go wrong. 我希望他们不要出事 I hope nothing will go wrong with them. That is our first character, Chu. Now let's turn to look at our next character, Guo. The basic meaning is the concept of crossing something, like a road or a bridge. So we have number one, Guo Qiao. Guo Qiao to cross a bridge. Guo Le Qiao, 你就会看到一座红色的房子 After you cross the street, you will see a red house. And we have to pay the toll for using the road or crossing a bridge. So the tolls in Chinese it's 过路费，过路费 very informative word. The fees for passing a road, a fees for crossing a road. 过路费 I remember a student telling me that he have a discussion with the taxi driver. So the taxi driver asked him. 我先付过路费，还是你付过路费 ？I will pay the toll first, or you will pay the toll. Number three is 过马路。过马路 ，This is what we got to cross a road. For example, 他过马路的时候被车撞了。He got hit by a car when he was crossing the road. 所以我们过马路的时候。一定要小心 ，so we have to be super careful when we crossing the road. Look at this picture. 太多车了，我不敢过马路。It's too many cars. I, I'm afraid of crossing the road. 他牵着她的手过马路。He was holding her hand when crossing the road. Now look at what he's doing. 他在过安检。He's going through the security. So we have our number four. 过安检，过安检 ，going through the security. 过 in here means pass through, passing through, crossing through. 安检 security check. 过安检 For example, 我过安检的时候丢了护照 I lost my passport when I was going through the security check. Number five. Similarly, we have 过海关，过海关 to going through the customs. For example, 以前过海关要排一个小时队 Before, when we going through the customs, I have to queue for one hour. 现在是电子过关 Now is the e-pass. Now, using this idea, we have a lot more vocabularies with. 过 in daily life. Number six is 过期过期 to pass the date. It means to expire. For example, 这苹果酱过期了。你明天去超市的时候可以再买一瓶回来吗 ？This jam is expired. Can you go to buy another bottle when you go to the supermarket tomorrow? 这苹果酱过期了，你明天去超市的时候可以再买一瓶回来吗 ？Number seven is 过时，过时 ，pass the time. So it means outdated, out of the fashion. 这个款式不会过时。This style will never get out of the fashion. Will never be outdated. 这个想法。早就已经过时了。This thought, this idea, has already been outdated. Number eight is 过敏
过敏, now guo means over here. Guo mean oversensitive. It means to be allergic. For example, 我对花生过敏, I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对海鲜过敏, I'm allergic to seafood. Number 9, number 10, number 11 is that we add a time or a festival after guo to express that we spend the time like a festival or a celebration. Number 9, guo nian, guo nian. It's what Chinese people we say to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Guo nian, for example, 我今年过年没回家. I didn't return my hometown when the Chinese New Year. Number 10, 过生日, 过生日. Now this is a very common one, to spend your birthday or to celebrate your birthday. For example, 你去年是怎么过生日的? How do you celebrate your birthday last year? And then you reply in 我去年是 blah 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 过生日的. And we can also put any kind of the festival, like to spend or celebrate Christmas. 过圣诞节 or 过泼水节, how the Thai people they celebrate their Songkran festivals in Thailand. 过泼水节 Another good phrase is number 11. 过夜, 过夜 It means to spend the night in somewhere else, in another place, not in your house. For example, 我昨晚在他家过夜, I spent the night in his house last night. Another example, 我想在Arizona过一夜, I want to spend one night in Arizona. Maybe I was driving, I was too tired, so I want to spend one night there. Or maybe it's just good to spend one night in Arizona. Another example, 小时候, well, Another example, 小时候,我爸妈不许我在朋友家过夜. When I was little, my parents doesn't allow me to sleep over in my friend's house. Now let's move on to our third character of the day. Fa, this is my personal favorite one. Now, fa, it carries quite a few different meanings by its own. So the vocabularies and words, they are a little bit more diversified and a little bit more broader. But I think with the following list of words, you will still get the accents of this character, fa. And the vocabularies, they are more fun and interesting to see. Number one, fa huo, fa huo. <laughs> huo means fire. So fa huo means you let the fire out, you let the things out. It means you're getting angry, you let your tempers out. For example, 今天早上老板又发火了. This morning, the boss was get angry again. 对,somebody发火. Get angry to a person. You let your tempers out to a person, towards a person. 他最近老是对我发火. He was always get angry to me these days, recently. 我本来想发火的. I was supposed to let my tempers out. I was thinking to let my tempers out. 我本来想发火的, but 我控制住了, I controlled. Number two, 发热, 发热, 热 is the noun heat in Chinese. So 发热 means to generating heat. For example, 我的手机在发热, my phone is heating because I'm using too long. 用太久了, 我的手机在发热, using too for too long time, my phone is heating. And also, fire also means have a fever. 我好像有点发热. I seem to have a little bit fever. Number three is we have another word for have fever. 发烧, 发烧. 我昨天晚上发高烧39度. I was having a high fever of 39 degree yesterday night. So, 发高烧, to have high fever. This is how we say to have high fever in Chinese. And how we say 
39 degree, 39 度。我昨晚发高烧， 39度。Number four, 发霉，发霉。Now this is a very interesting word. 霉 is a noun for mold, so 发霉 it means to get moldy. 春天和下雨季节，东西容易发霉。So in the spring and in the raining seasons, the things are more easy to get moldy. An extra note here, because it is because of the rain, so the things are more easy to get moldy. So the may, this character, if you see that, is actually with the raining radical. Number five, 发炎发炎 to inflame. So 炎 is the noun for inflammation in Chinese. So 发炎 to inflame. 牙齿发炎 tooth. My teeth was inflamed. 喉咙发炎 my throat was inflamed. 喉咙发炎 Now this is a very common symptoms for having a cold or having a heat or to having too much heat in the Chinese medicine concept. 喉咙发炎 Number seven is 发音发音 Now this is my favorite word of all of the list. 发音 means pronounce, also means pronunciation. So it's a verb and also it's a noun. Literally, 发音 means you send the sound out. You send the voice out. 发音音 the sound, the voice. 发音 For example, 我的发音不太好 My pronunciation wasn't really good, and also we have a more local way to say it's 我的发音不太准准 My pronunciation is not accurate. Was not standard. Was not correct. 我的发音不太准 I have a lot of students who come to me to say 我的发音不太好 but you can also say 我的发音不太准 Also, when learning Chinese, a lot of students have problems with the c sound. So, 很多学生 c 的发音有问题 Many students have problems with the pronunciation of c. And with the same sentence, we can use 发音 as a verb. 很多学生的 c 发的不对很多学生的 c 发的不对 Many students, they when they pronounce c, they pronounce not correctly. Number seven, 发誓发誓誓 means a pledge or a vow. So 发誓 means you swear. I swear I will do something. I swear I will not do something. For example, let's use one of the words we have discussed before. 我发誓我不会再轻易发火 I swear that I will not let my tempers out easily. And 对 somebody 发誓 swear to somebody. 对天发誓 I swear to God. 我对天发誓，这跟我一点关系都没有 I swear to God, this has nothing to do with me. 我发誓，我把我知道的都告诉你了 I swear that I have told you everything that I know. Number eight is 发呆，发呆。I like this word, and I do this a lot. So 发呆 means doing nothing, means like lost in your mind, or stare at the space. Sometimes I just go back to my car and 发呆 for a while, or look at my bookshelf and 发呆 for a while. Let's see some sentence. 发呆也没什么不好的 There is nothing wrong with staring at the space. 上课时，我喜欢望着窗外发呆。When I have lessons, I like to daze looking out of the window. Number nine is 发财，发财 It means to make a fortune. Have you heard of any Chinese say this to you when in Chinese New Year? So we say 恭喜发财 It's a very common greeting in Chinese New Year. 恭喜发财 I wish you a good fortune. Number ten is 发神经，发神经。Now this is a little bit tricky word because it will be quite rude if you use it in the wrong way. But if you use it properly, it's a very funny expression. You say this to people close to you. 
So, 发神经, it means like mad, to go crazy, to, to out of somebody's mind. But when we are talking, we use this quite often and as a joke. So, for example, 他一定以为我在发神经. He must think that I was going crazy. 谁发神经送花给我? Who is being ridiculous that sent me flowers? 我发神经才给那本书你? I must be crazy that I gave you the book. 我发神经才发那条信息给你? I must be crazy that I sent you that message. 我肯定是发神经才去见他. I must be crazy that I went to see him. Number 11, it's fa do. Fa do means trembling. 你很紧张吗? 你在发抖耶? Are you very nervous? You are like trembling. 他说话的声音都有点颤抖. Even her voice was breaking and trembling. Number 12, it's fa huo. Fa huo, it means to dispatch, to start to deliver something. One sentence that is very useful that we can use in daily life is that we ask the online shop, 什么时候发货? When you can deliver them to me. 下单的第二天就发货? We will dispatch them the second day when you place the order. 